Hello, Aaron. In Lowell, Arkansas, just outside Fayetteville, Arkansas, home of University of Arkansas. Go Razorbacks! This is See More Better with FreePrescriptionLenses.com, and tonight I got an extra special frame to work with. This is your second purchase. Last year you got a pair of Gucci's from me. Now you're getting the Versace 4275 color GB1, which is the gold and black. Well, black with gold. Let's let's tell it the way it is. And the 58 eye size. Let me open everything up. You got your Versace gift box. Your Italian leather Versace case. A little bit of junk mail in every conceivable language. Your card of authenticity with your international warranty in case you're overseas and need to implement that. Your serial number of your Versace frames. All that comes with it. And the star of the show, the main attraction. Open up, of course, you got your Versace cleaning cloth on the inside. But we got the 4275 with the large Medusa on there. No other Versace has as large of a Medusa. Now it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the rub temples from rubbing together while it's being shipped from Italy and I will put that on there while I ship to you. So this is it. This is another case that sometimes some of the nicest frames are sunglasses. So I'm going to take out the sunglass lenses and install your prescription lenses so you can wear these every day and be styling, profiling. Whoever said pimping ain't easy never had a pair of these. It just about it just now got easier. So let me pop out your original demo lenses. And I'm going to take your frame, put it into the, and again, this is the model number 4275, color GB1, which is the black and the gold. Oh, yes, it is. And it does it so nicely, too, may I add, in the 58 eye size. So I'm going to take your frame, put it into the tracing element of the blocker, and hit start. A little stylus is going to pop up and it's going to go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing for the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine, authentic Versace frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or, pay attention everyone, non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether they are prescription or not and how would someone who has insurance but doesn't need it love to rock a pair of these with clear lenses with the anti-glare coating that you upgraded to you know i know there's some trappers out there who want to wear this thing come on come on a trap with me so i'm gonna set that down let's pull up the shape of the lens your pupillary distance for your right eye is 34. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the plus button a few times till we get to 34. I'm going to raise the vertical decent. Oh, come on now. Come on back down. I'm going to hit that button to move it. How's that? I'm going to raise that up to about 26. Maybe I'll go higher if we need it, but that's it. Let's go ahead and come down here and get your lenses prepped. Your right eye reads Plano minus one and a quarter at 85. Plano minus one and a quarter. Spin the axis wheel to 85. Put the power drum on zero, which is Plano. Check to make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Move the prism ring. Yeah, we good. We good. Take the lens out of the protective sleeve. Put it in. Turn the lens until we find the spherical component, the Plano component of your prescription. Close that down. Check the astigmatism. Minus 125. We are looking good. Hang on one second. Okay, we are good. I'm going to put three dots on your lenses. That turned out good. Well, I can darken those. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? I got it over here. Let me just darken those for a little bit. And this is the right lens. Let's go ahead and clean up as we go. I just put some more ink in there and I don't want that splatter on there. No splatter for you. Put that up there. Let's do the same thing for the left lens. Minus a quarter, minus 75 at 88. We're going to turn that fine tune knob to 88. Put the power drum on minus a quarter. Put the lens in. Rotate until the spherical component comes in clearly. Check your astigmatism correction. Minus 75. That is looking good. And put three dots on these lenses. Let me just darken those for those at home can see. And this is the left lens. I'll put an L there. And if anyone missed any of that, let me recap. Oh yeah, that just keeps getting sweeter and sweeter. 
Tonight is Mardi Gras. Hope everyone is out there enjoying. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So, we got a special week for us. Now, this is a block. As I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So, I need to put a double-sided adhesive sticker on here, of which I've got a couple right here. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick this one onto the first block. Do the same thing for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now on the back is a silver button. That is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice tonight. It's going to attach itself to something magnetic. I got a comment from one of the viewers saying that the word magnetical is not a real word, even though that's how it was explained to me. I repeated what I heard. And if that's not a real word, I apologize. I've been saying it in my videos, so they commented, please use proper grammar. And I agree, and I said, I ain't going to do it no more. So, that's going to attach itself to something magnetic, not magnetical, there in the arm. The reason why I put those three dots on there is it lines it up in there perfectly. Place that there. It tells me that the lens is already perfect. I want to check one thing. Oh, yeah, make sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame. And... Go ahead and hit that button. The arm comes down and places the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the unright lens. Your pupillary distance for the left lens is the same as the right. It has mirrored the right. comes up at 34. I do want to mark the height of the vertical decentration, 26. I apologize if any of that is woozy. Just drink a little bit extra since Mardi Gras is coming up. Now, again, magnet goes there. All right, I'm done with that. <laughs> Make sure the lens is large enough to fit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It just does. That's always the issue with these larger frames. I'm going to check one thing here. Let's see this. Let's see this. I've got a little bit more room that way. So let me... Here's one of those great things. A straight line. 0 to 90 to 180. Your prescription is the same whether it's mounted in this way or that way. Because it's such low powered when I was reading it in the lensometer. It's actually decentered a little bit so I can rotate it and get the same prescription when it's upside down like that. It just gives me a little bit more room to work with. Can you see that? I have that little more lip, whereas if I were to put it here, it'd be a little bit closer to that edge. So I'm going to rotate it around, buying myself a few extra millimeters, known as the fudge factor. Although I'm trying to eliminate sweets. Okay, hit that button. The arm comes down, places the block onto the unright lens. I'm going to come down here. This is the edger. It weighs, well, let's back up. It costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone buy one, put it on your kitchen counter. You can cut your own lenses at home and you can say the word magnetical if you want to in your own videos. I just, <laughs> never mind. I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm sorry, fan, for watching and trying to comment. I should be playing nice today, um, but I'm not, so forgive me. I will write on here, I will not poke fun at people who critique me. All right, especially when I know it's for my own good. So the actual cutting wheel, where's my little flashlight? I've got a smaller flashlight, I just can't find it. The actual cutting wheel is over here. It's gonna act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away the lens material until it's the final size. This wheel in the center that has that channel, that valley, that's what's gonna, that recession, that's what's gonna put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. So now we can place the lens into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. And yes, that's when the magnet does its job a second time. It attaches it to something magnet. If you can't even see that, let me take that out so you can see. That little round spot matches the round spot there. Boom. And that's what holds it in place. How about that? Put that back on there. Slap that back on there. And now on the opposite side... It's a little rubber pad that grips on this side while it is cutting. And that's what holds everything in place. Alright, so that's something you haven't seen in any of my videos before. Let's wake the computer up. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Alright, I'm not going to polish the edge of the lenses. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, Hindex plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. We're sticking with polycarb. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens. I'm only going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. The front convex surface of the lens will not protrude out of the frame, so there's no need to adjust for that. The lens is in there. I'm hit the green arrow, which is start. The door closes, the clamp shuts, and then the lens is going to be traced by the two white styluses. 
making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame as I was going over before. And you can see as it's tracing out the shape that it is cutting. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none. Nothing, I tell you, Aaron. You got nothing that's going to be coming out of the back side of this frame. Even though it's a large frame, but with your prescription, the thinner, lighter weight lenses, everything's going to be contained inside there. Now, if you see light flickering in the background, that is water there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off of the cutting wheel. Here's something new. Here is the water coming through here. This traps any debris and then the pump that is down here cycles the water back up through these pipes into the edger to a self-contained system. Now your lenses are made out of polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistic quality lenses that the soldiers wear that are overseas to protect their eyes. They also have 100% UVA and UVB protection as well as a premium scratch coating. The other nice thing about your lenses are they are aspheric. Aspheric means simply not spherical, a spherical lens. If I were to get one, but don't take my word for it, spherical. A spherical lens is completely round in every meridian that goes around. These are flatter to fit in today's flatter curvature frames. So you have a thinner and lighter weight lens and it's also a flatter curvature lens to give you a wider field of view than a spherical lens. When you buy glasses from people online, they charge you for spherical lenses, which is no bueno. Then if you want to upgrade to the thinner, lighter weight, unbreakable polycarbonate, they charge you a fee for that, which is double no bueno, double no bueno. And then if you want the aspheric flatter lenses, they charge you a third time, which is triple no bueno. You get all of that for free every time you buy a frame from me. So, this is someone else's top tier three upgrade lens you get for free with every purchase of a frame from me. Now, the other nice thing about your lenses, you paid the $44.99 to have the anti-glare, also known as AR anti-reflective coating. It's three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights and such. The second feature, AR, the initials ARC, anti-reflective coating. It reduces reflections when people are looking at you so they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses. So it makes for much better eye contact. Plus if someone, if you take a selfie or if someone else takes a picture with a flash, you won't see the flash lit up in the lens like you do for your parents on those old school photos they have. And the third feature that I like is it comes with the industry's hardest scratch coating. That's because the machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars and takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings. I'm going to open this door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can't. I just can't come up with any jokes, but I can melt ice with my mind. I just have to stare at it for a couple hours. Ooh, look, some schwarf. The water did not wash it all away. So I'm going to take that, throw it into the dust bin for all my English fans. Let's see if your lens fits. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner using my thumbs, push down at the nose. That ah, snaps in, but you know what? Let me take that down a tenth of a millimeter more because I do not want to force it in there. It, it did go in there a little firm. So I'm going to take a tenth of a millimeter off going around the circumference of the lens until it fits in there easily. I don't want to force the lens into the frame because it would cause it to stretch. But as I was saying a moment ago, it takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating over the anti-glare to protect your time and investment. The right lens always takes a little bit longer. Once we get the right size, we just flip it over and cut the left. So water has begun spraying onto the lens, which tells me it's in the last 20 seconds of the cycle. In just a moment, a little lever will come into view from the foreground. At the end of that lever is a spinning wheel, something you would find at the end of a Dremel tool. That's what's applying the safety bevel to the rear concave surface of your lens. So as I mentioned, should any portion of the lens protrude from the back surface of the frame and come in contact with the cheek, it will be nice and smooth. Now, this is just 
routine procedure none of your lens will protrude out of your frame with your prescription but because I do cut very strong prescriptions all day long and for how much for gratis for free that does become more critical with the higher power prescriptions and yes I have been through a battle <laughs> Anyone else out there ever tried to give a pill to a cat that didn't want to take a pill? Now, that snaps in there much easier. Let's go ahead and start cutting the old L lens. We're going to flip that over to L. Press the sticker on there firm. Put the lens into... Oh, you know what? It's upside down. Don't look at the L at the bottom. I flipped it. I'm going to flip you. I'm going to flip you. It's crazy. So now we can hit start. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts, and then the lens will begin to be traced by the two white styluses. Again, making sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame, and you can see how close it'll come to the edge. Although that's why I moved it, but you can see as it's tracing the shape. And again, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Look, you got none. Nothing, I tell you. You got nothing there. That's a quote from Robert De Niro from Crazy Mean Streets. That's his first movie that he did. Take the block off, dry it off with my hand, add that to my collection. Come down here, we're going to spin the fine tune knob to 85. Hello, fine tune. Put the lens in over that dot. And read the power I am getting. Zero. Plano. Yes, it's a city in Texas, but Plano, P-L-A-N-O, also means zero, which means you need no far-sided or near-sided correction. Your right eye, back in school we would call this simple astigmatism because there is no power here. We're only correcting the astigmatic portion of your correction. So you need five steps of astigmatism correction. You're neither near-sided or far-sided. These are not plus lenses or minus lenses that you need for the left. All we need to do is correct for astigmatism. Now there is a stigma over the word astigmatism. It just means you have two curves on your eyes. One curve going this way, the spherical component, and a second curve this way, which is the astigmatic curve. And that's how they line up those two curves to make everything clear. Astigmatism is make sixes and eights look alike over the letters P and F. So we turn that fine tube knob to 85. Let's check the power, minus one and a quarter. And we end up at minus one and a quarter exactly halfway between one and 150. now your left eye you do need one step of far-sided correction you are ever so slightly near-sided by the smallest amount without your glasses on everything is much too large that's why there's a minus sign it will minify down to the correct size once it's the correct size you need three steps of astigmatism correction and we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 88. a straight line is zero to 90 to 180. We're going to stop just before the 90 meridian for 85 on your right eye, 88 on your left. Now this frame sells for $250. It is the Versace 4275. And of course, you get one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses, aspheric poly, the unbreakable ballistic impact lenses with 100% UVA and UVB protection, Aaron upgraded pay the extra $44.99 for the anti-glare coating so his total was $294.99 and there is no tax on eyeglasses here in North Carolina and you also get free shipping anywhere in the continental US the islands its territories and military bases gets free shipping so in just a moment Aaron I want you to open this door with your mind good job Aaron first day on the job and you did it Let's take the lens out, dry it off. For everyone out there who believes in telekinesis, raise my hand. What? What? <laughs> okay, it must be real. Everyone who believes in the flat earth, <laughs> flatten your paper towel. Everyone who believes in the round earth, ball it up. Look at a little swore falling out. Oh, there's a piece right there. Look at that. You can see it falling. Help me! Help me! Okay, let's dry the lens off. Make sure there's no more swarf. Tuck the lens in at the outside corner using my thumbs. Press down at the nose. It snaps in easily. Let's go ahead and take this block off. Pull the sticker off. Dry that off with my hand. And yes, my hand is an OSHA approved drying material. And now, it's growing. Ooh, that's coming apart right there. So let me press that down. I'm going to stick that one on there and help keep that done. 
Doesn't this look like a black Snapchat emblem? <laughs> or you tell me what you think this looks like. Write it down on a $100 bill and mail it to me and tell me what you think this looks like. And I'll read your comment on the air. I'll give you credit if it's right and you don't even have to include your name. I'll recognize your handwriting. So, where is that? Okay, I'm going to put it in just above that black dot. Turn the fine tune knob to 88. Put it in above your optical center. It's going to sit directly in front of your pupil. And hopefully we'll get minus a quarter. Look at that, minus a quarter. One tick mark away from zero. Let's check your stigmatism correction. Minus 75. And we end up at minus one. How did we get there? Remember high school algebra where you add two like signs together? Yeah, I know you don't remember high school algebra. At least I don't. So... Although working at University of Arkansas, go Razorbacks! You may be a little bit more familiar with math than I am, but I'll use today's terms. If someone borrowed 25 cents from you, let's say they came up to you and said, Yo, let me hold a quarter. And then they came back and said, Let me hold three more quarters. They would owe you four quarters. One dollar in the red. So that is cut perfectly. Yes, I'm a little bit caffeinated tonight. Forgive me. So, your pupillary distance. 34 in each eye for a total of 68. I'm going to flip the card around, place my PD stick against my thumb on your right lens, and then when we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 68 millimeters, although that's getting worn off. Let's grab a brand new one. How about my old Hoya? Don't worry, that is not Georgetown. There's a lens company called, you know what? We're only representing the University of Arkansas tonight. Let's put that back, get another one of these U.S. optical fastest lab in America. Place it against your lens, and then when we hold it up, we're getting 68 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. You know, I couldn't have done any better on these glasses if I had done all the work myself. So, now I'm going to go ahead and clean your lenses. And again, this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. That when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance... The one side is going to sit higher than the other. That is because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So just go into your local place where you had your eye exam and just tell them if these are too loose or too tight or if one side is higher than the other. As I mentioned, 99% of all optical shops do free adjustments. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment. And I'm also in that 80% and I'll show you in just a moment. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I take mine off, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, tonight I'm wearing the Versace 3199 in color 5119, which is navy and tortoise, to go with my brown pants and my blue shirt, so I'm always matching. Come on now, you got to be matching. And, if I may digress and get distracted, I just ordered this frame for myself to try out. It is the Ralph Lauren Polo 2083, color 5276 in the 48 eye size. Of course, a little polo cloth that's in there. By the way, I provide cleaning instructions to everyone not only to care for your Versace cloth, or polo cloth, or Ray-Ban, whatever you order from me, but also mine, not only to care for your frame and lenses, so they will last you for years, but for your case and cleaning cloth, so those two will last you for years. But let's open this up. Round is the new thing. I don't know when Polo started doing that. They got little labels inside their cases. That's new. That's my first time seeing that. But the classic P3 shape with the keyhole bridge. Yours is more of a saddle, just like it would go over a horse. This is known as a keyhole because it looks like you could fit a skeleton key in there. And this is blue and tortoise. Just when I needed another pair of blue and tortoise frames. I was hoping in the, in the, catalog, in the online catalog that I order from all authorized dealers, this looked much more blue. And I was hoping that was going to pop more, be a real, real bold blue. But I can live with that. And again, this is the... Let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo! It is the Polo 2083 in color 5276 in the 48 eye size. This also comes in a smaller 46 eye size. It comes in a dark Havana, light Havana, black, black front tortoise temples. So you may be seeing me wear this in some upcoming videos. 
I think this frame sells for around 180. Don't quote me on that. I just got this in. I happened to see it and I instantly fell in love with it online. So to be continued. Let me put that back over there. Flip these over, press down, make sure there's no wobble. I guess I gotta get back to work here. Close each temple to make sure they overlap and they do. Look at those two Medusas. That's just too nice. Two Medusas, too nice. The frame's so nice, they had to name it twice, or three times, Versace, Versace, Versace. So, I field test every cleaning cloth before I send it to you to make sure that it works. I do not want to send out a defective cloth. So when you get these in the mail and there's a wrinkle in your cloth, you know it works. You can't tell me you can't get your glasses clean because I've used it already to do that. So, this is what your lenses look like before. One of them had the little Versace emblem on there. Take them away. No more sunglasses. No mas sol lentes. Is that right? And now we have the banging pair of Versace, Versace, Versace. Now that is a banging pair of glasses for all my trap hustlers out there. So if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel. Or you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram at freeprescriptionlenses.com. You can follow me on Twitter at free rx lenses because my username was too long before um, this one that is and if you have any questions you can always email me at free prescription lenses at gmail.com or simply click the contact me button on the website or better yet leave a comment in the comment section below or a question that way other people can read it and benefit from your inquisitive nature but aaron aaron although i gotta call you a rod because uh, based on your last name, I know you said that's not, people call you that. But that's just too cool of a name. A-Rod. A-Rod in his new Versace 4275. Color GB1, which is the classic black and gold in the 58 eye size. Now, black and silver is very in with just about every other frame company. Versace is one of the few people who still bring black and gold to the table. So anyone who wants one of the nicest pair of glasses out there... They are the Kazal sized frames. You can't go wrong. Versace made in Italy. Of course, you get the Versace case and cleaning cloth, the Versace box, everything. You get all the accoutrements when you buy a frame from me. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Everyone else, I hope you got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.